What is up everyone? My name is Cody Campbell and welcome back to another StarCraft 2 video. In the last video, we we completed the prologue of, of Legacy of the Void and now it's time to move on to the main campaign. The swarm brought ruin to our world. Our proud people became refugees. And yet, they could not shatter our unity. For we are bound by the Kala, the sacred union of our every thought and emotion. Today, we retake our home world, and with it, our legacy. Great evil looms over the galaxy. The dark god Amon has returned, spurred by the Zeratul's prophecy. Kerrigan or Swarm set out to destroy Amon's hybrid forces, hoping to stop the coming oblivion. With the threat of the Zerg Queen absent, Protoss, Hierarch Arturnus, Artanus, raises a massive invasion fleet that left the Dark Templar world of at Eng committed it to restore his people's former glory by reclaiming their lost homeworld of ire. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing, these Protoss missions are gonna be quite difficult. But one thing, uh, I learned
Templar. At long last, we stand at the threshold of destiny. For today, we will restore the glory of our legacy. Today, we will retake what we have lost and reclaim our homeworld. And may the Kala's light guide us. The invasion fleet stands ready. We await only your command, Hierarch. We must halt this invasion at once. Zeratul! Templar! Arrest this traitor! No! We will hear him out. The end war has come. Amon, the Dark One, has returned. This heretic cannot be trusted. This invasion is a distraction from the true battle ahead. Amon's fury will engulf the entire galaxy. Do not forget that it was his interference that brought ruin to ire. And that burden weighs heavily upon me. Arcanis, I have found a way to stand against the coming darkness. You must believe me. We have been through much together, Zeratul. But far too many have sacrificed in the hopes that this moment would come to pass. Executor! Commence the invasion! of ire is underway we are preparing to siege the warp network at Karasan now well done Salendis. once the warp conduits are free of infestation our forces will strike as one across the surface of ire the templar await your command hierarch and right, before we start is uh game i wish they didn't have to keep that Press F2 to select all. State thy bidding. You require my skills. Really? You're gonna be doing this to us? We move unseen. Warriors, ire awaits you. March forth and take it! Veraku. some colossi to join your forces. Use them well, Artanis. The 
Solendis. The conduit is ours. Warp down reinforcements. As you command. Two warp conduits remain in the grip of the Zerg. Ready yourselves, brethren. We move for victory. I serve for now. For the reckoning. Artemis, there are more hives in the surrounding area. Destroying them would deal the Zerg a crippling blow. We move unseen. Annihilate it. We strike as one! This hive cluster has fallen. Continue on, brothers. State thy bidding. It shall be as you say. Thank you for your aid. Allow us to join you in battle. Aku. Yeah, that's a lot Very of you. Second warp conduit is activating now. Psi matrix signal confirmed. Reinforcements warping in at your location. The voice of the eclipse. in ruins. Only one remains, my warriors. I am the voice of the Eclipse. It shall be as you say. I serve for now. are intelligent beyond feral zerg you speak truly zeratul an unseen hand moves them we must be on guard the final hive has fallen let this be the first victory of many Fire will be restored. I am the heart of darkness. The final conduit lies before us. Show the Zerg no mercy. Secured. Our starfighters are moving to take this fight across the surface. Take command of the invasion, Executor. Zeratul, you and I must discuss this most recent turn of events further. Alright. I wonder what, what the 10th anniversary was. Alright. 
It seems the end war you warned of has begun. Tell me, old friend, what is it you have learned? I have witnessed the end of all things. Horrific legions of hybrid, raising world upon world. In the darkness, lording over them a shadowy form. Amon. Yet, you spoke of a way to stand against him. This vision was a benevolent one, as if an ancient voice called out from beyond. The Keystone shall usher you unto hope. Keystone? I saw a burst of light revealing the Zelnaga artifact on the Terran world of Korhal. It is the Keystone of this vision. The prophecies speak of Zelnaga standing against Amon in the end times. I believe this Keystone will guide us to them. I have always trusted you, Zeratul, but the burdens of leadership demanded much of me. There are times I am uncertain whether I was truly ready for such weight. Your doubt is unfounded, young Artanis. You must embrace what you have become if you are to be the leader we now need. You will go to James Raynor on Core Hall and receive this keystone. I will marshal our forces for the war ahead. When you return, the Templar will be ready. Entaro Tassadar, old friend. Entaro Artanis, brother. Hmm. Zeratul, you must secure the Zelnaga Keystone from James Raynor. My forces will reactivate the Spear of a Doom, a warship that will be invaluable in the battles ahead. May Tassadar's shadow hide you, my friend. in ruins. What has transpired here? Zerg, protect the dark prelate. Hmm. The Zerg in this area should have been eradicated. Stalkers, hurry to the Nexus point nearby and warn our brethren. I must investigate this further. You require my skills. us. Proceed with caution. We will have to blink across this chasm. So, go now. Intriguing. Mutalisks. Focus particle disruptors upon them. are stationed here. I can no longer sense them within the Kala. Is that not impossible? Your kind cannot disappear from the Kala, unless your nerve cords are severed. Then the impossible has happened. I can no longer sense Artanis. There is only a void in the Kala where he should be. The shadow moves against us, Executor. Artanis is in grave peril. You must raise an army and find him. 
My face smith, Karax, will help you re-establish this nexus point. Zeratul, save Artanis. I am the voice of the Eclipse. We move unseen. Dark Prelate Zeratul, I am Karax of the Kalai Cast. Friend Karax, we must establish this nexus as quickly as possible. Excellent. You should train additional warriors to deal with larger enemy threats. Simulator requires three probes to harvest at maximum efficiency. You must construct additional pylons. Nexus point has been re-established. Once your warriors are ready, you should proceed with your mission, Dark Prelate. Yeah, let's get these, uh... Zeratul, the Zerg are moving to attack. Rally your defenses.
Executor Salentis, I have encountered your missing Templar, but they have been corrupted, as if possessed. Salentis. Zeratul, I... I can sense your presence. The Kala is filled with rage. My mind is being consumed. You must hold on. We are coming for you. Your lies are meaningless, purposeless. I grant you salvation. Amon, the Dark God is here, on ire. He has wrested control of the Kala. The Templar have fallen. With our nerve cords severed, only we Nerezim remain unaffected. It falls to us to halt this madness, brothers. You address me? We must reach young Artanis. I only pray that we are not too late. The voices... 
whisper of oblivion, of salvation. There's four minerals I didn't pick up or something. I wonder where they are. Where they were. Smith Carax, I have been looking for you. Artanis, praise the Your gods. Your nerve cords 
They must be removed. It was done by the Dark Templar. I am free of the Kala's corruption. Are there others? I have saved all that I could. Come, we must escape this world before time runs out. Escape? How? The Spear of Adun still rests beneath the ruins of Kor Shakal. Its generators are ancient, but a phase smith of your ability will know how to bring them online. The Spear of Adun? I... I am honored to have the opportunity. This is fortune we cannot ignore. Indeed. Come, we must go at once. Hierarch, we are en route to the Spear of Adun. As long as its generators still function, I should be able to bring them online. Once the Spear is fully activated, we must flee from this fallen world. The Spear of Adun lies dormant beneath the heart of the Conclave. I had hoped to raise it, to secure our victory against the Zerg. But now, it is our last hope for survival. Artemis, why do you flee from your salvation? Solendis, she has fallen under Amon's control. Karax, we have to bring the Spear of Adun online. The first power cell is activating, but the remaining four have been disabled by creep. I see. We have no choice but to clear them. What of our defenses? Unfortunately, they are without power. However, the Spear of Adun support systems can aid us. They will allow us to deploy pylons anywhere on the battlefield. We should deploy one here as soon as possible. These photon cannons can defend our nexus point, Hierarch. They require only a pylon to function. You can warp in a pylon using the Spear of Adun. Press the Deploy Pylon button at the top of your command screen. Our cannons will now fire upon enemies within range. If they become damaged, the shield battery will restore their shielding. These defenses will indeed be vital to our evacuation, but our first priority must be to clear the power cells of creep. Cold is the void. Now transform our gateways into warp gates. This allows us to warp in warriors to any area with pylon power.
enough minerals. Zergling bioforms on approach to our nexus. We must rally our defenses. Detecting unpowered warp gates nearby. Constructing a pylon next to them would restore their power, giving us an advantage. The Spear of Adun's deploy pylon ability would be ideal for this. Of course, our probes can always warp in pylons as well. Cell is active. The spear sensor array is reacting. Do not deny your destiny, Artemis. Your people have finally found true unity. Sensors online. Wait, what is this? Warp prisms approaching our nexus point. Stalkers, eliminate those warp prisms. With the shadows. Very wise. Construct additional pylons. I am here in the shadows. State thy bidding for the reckoning. We move. Our forces have discovered a warp gate. Now, we only need to construct a pylon to power it. Intriguing. Veraku. Online. We can begin warping in warriors from it immediately, Hierarch. You must, you must construct additional pylon. I am here in the shadows. For the reckoning, it shall be. I am.
Nidus worms. Warriors, strike them down. We are not defeated yet. You must place that in the power field. I am here. I am here in the shadows. We are one with the shadows. Kerax, I've brought another warp gate online. Prepare it for immediate use. Another pack of Zerglings is approaching our nexus from the south. You require my skills. Very well. State thy bidding. I serve. I am the voice of the Eclipse. I am the heart. Cold is the voice. I would advise caution, Hierarch. You are approaching the Zerg's hive cluster. It will be heavily defended. is nearly online. Only one cell remains. Enough. The end to the cycle of infinite madness has come. Cease your struggle against the salvation I bring. Hierarch. All of the abandoned warp gates are now under our control. Base is under attack. I am here in the shadows. You require my skills. Unto Ka. Let our enemy know our fury. Base 
is under attack. Transfer completed. The Spear of Badoon is ready to depart. We're all firstborn freed from Amon aboard, Facesmith. We must flee this world if we are to survive. As you command. Marvel of Kalai engineering, and last of the three great Ark ships. Each created to ensure the continuation of our culture in a dark time. Within its chambers rest contingents of zealots, Templar who bravely sacrificed, entering suspension so that they may serve as this vessel's army. Though it pains me greatly, I have begun severing their nerve cords. The ship's lower decks contain a star forge capable of constructing weapons of war. There is much to learn about this vessel. Its technology is ancient, yet highly advanced. We are aboard a relic from a glorious time when our culture shined as a constellation. The Celestial Array has been updated, Hierarch. From here, you may select our next point of travel. With this vessel, we will avenge what has transpired, Karax, and we will free the Templar. the Zelnaga Keystone, which Seratul foresaw would lead to our salvation. Though I have not seen Commander Raynor in many solar returns, I believe he will give the Keystone to us. This is Commander James Raynor. Artanis? There. Ain't you a sight for sore eyes? Friend Raynor, you seem rather... occupied. 
Just another day at the office. Who are these insurgents? Call themselves Mobius Corps, an elite guard that used to work for Dr. Narud. They've been striking worlds throughout the sector, leaving few survivors. Each world attacked, reported hybrid leaving them. Then truly, no world is beyond Amon's reach. Reinforce those bulkheads. Reposition to Mark 7 Alpha. We need to form a battle line. They've overrun Sky Shield, our orbital defense platform. Looks like they've destroyed its atmospheric stabilizers. It's fallen fast. If it crashes, it'll obliterate August Grad. We will ensure that does not happen, Commander. Engage their fleet and keep their assault at bay. Like old times, buddy. Like old times. Hierarch, before our armies engage the enemy, it would be wise to review our military capabilities within the War Council. Karax, even without the Kala's light, I can sense your sadness, your pain. Does the Spear of a Doom bring you no joy? That is just it, Hierarch. Without the Kala, it is as if I am blind. I cannot sense your feelings, know the true depth of your thoughts. I cannot call upon the surety of other face smiths. I am alone. I feel the isolation as well, as though thrashing within the vacuum of space. But you are not alone, brother. To think the Dark Templar have endured this existence all this time. The days ahead will not be easy. We may not have the Kala to rely on Karax, but we still stand as one. We will endure. There is no other option. It seems fate has drawn us together once again, James Raynor. I'd call it luck. Luck is a concept that is purely human in origin. We Protoss see the synchronicity of events, and know there is a grander design behind them. Now, it don't matter how you see it. The result's the same. So what brought you all the way out here, Artanis? Zeratul believed that the artifact in your possession, the Keystone, he called it, could guide us to the Zelnaga. Where's Zeratul now? The Dark Prelate fell on Ire. His last hope was that I would continue his quest and find a way to stop Amon. Damn it. Always knew there was only one way this quest of his was going to end. His loss is great. I know you called him friend. I went through hell to get that artifact because of his damned fool prophecies. Lost a lot of good men. If he wanted you to have it, take it. It's yours. Right now, though, we got a city to save. A preserver? Released from stasis? She still bears her nerve cords. She is tethered to the collar. Hold. I am Rohana. Grand Preserver of the Valari, and your War Council Advisor. You must be the Executor in Command. You are not possessed by the Dark One. How is this possible? I feel darkness lingering in the edges of my every thought, but I am not corrupted. Preservers of my station have trained to control the Kala's every ripple. I assure you, I will stave off this evil and serve you better by doing so. As all preservers, I hold the memories and personalities of Protoss prior to my submission to Stasis. This will allow me to contrast your tactical decisions with those of past executors. From this chamber, you will be able to make all military allocations. I am Artanis, Hierarch of the Daylon. I lead all that is left of our civilization. Your memories are indeed of use, Rohana. But make no mistake. If you fall to this corruption, 
I will not hesitate to destroy you. It is understood. I am prepared for the Firstborn's darkest hour. Come, let me show you what may be done here. The assembly panel awaits, Hierarch. We may begin whenever you are ready. I have heard only tales of the Grand Preservers. I did not expect to encounter one aboard this vessel. That is not surprising, Hierarch. My sisters and I are unique. Trained from birth to master every intricacy of the Kala. I have experienced its true depth, plunged the infinite spectrum of emotion and memory. It is because of this gift we were selected to enter stasis, so that we may guide you in our most dire hour. Your sisters were aboard the other Ark ships? Then they... Are one with the Kala, fallen during the Zerg invasion of Ire. I know this. I feel the tragedy that has befallen us, more deeply than you may realize. A terrible burden has been laid upon you, Rohana. Yet it is my fate to bear it. A fate foreseen by the same minds that constructed this vessel. I trust in their wisdom, Hierarch. I will serve my purpose, much as you must serve yours. Alright, so let's see. The assembly panel allows you to customize your army based on the Protoss technology we encounter. Select a warrior category to begin. Now you may choose one of the two factions for use in upcoming battles. These assignments are not permanent and can be altered as our combat needs change. Many battles await you, Hierarch. Choose a faction and lead them to glory. We are the Blades of Iron. The Shadow Guard waits. We are the Blades of Iron. The Shadow Guard waits. I think we'll go with that. I am here in the shadows. I have returned. I think we'll go with the shields, with the... Alright! I will find the Keystone Zeratul. I will honor your legacy. Alright everyone, I guess that'll do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. And yeah, this is gonna be an interesting playthrough. Anyways guys, see you next time. Bye!